Percy Jackson, a son of Poseidon, has made it safely to Half-Blood Hill. His mom was vaporized by the Minotaur, who had been following them. Percy had attacked the Minotaur, ripped off his horn, and stabbed him with it. He woke up fine. He woke up fine, but a little bruised. This sort of thing hasn't happened in such a long time. A son of the big three has already killed the monster. Since this sort of thing is so rare, we are going to follow Percy on the important parts of his journey as a son of a god. Percy Jackson has been told a quest by the Oracle. He has, he has told us what the Oracle said. Here it is. You shall bring back what is stolen and see it safely returned. You shall be betrayed by one who calls you friend. You shall fail to save what matters most in the end. And you shall face the god who has turned. Looks like Percy's taking a rough start on this quest. Percy, Annabeth, and Grover were on a bus when Grover started to smell something and started getting worried. After that, three old women, aka the, the, fur the Furies, had gotten on the bus. They tried looking for something and not someone. They kept screaming, where is it? Annabeth and Grover thought they were looking for Percy. Later, Annabeth and Grover climbed off the bus with the Furies trapped inside. People were running away. He, mortals were running away terrified. You all know the most famous monster in Greek mythology, Medusa. Percy and his friends were trying to find some place to eat when they stumbled across Auntie M's statue emporium, which was Medusa in disguise. When Auntie M asked for their photo, she took off her disguise and Percy, Annabeth, and Grover jumped away in time. Then Grover started whacking Medusa with a stick. As Grover did that, Percy cut off Medusa's head with his sword and sent it to Mount Olympus. When Percy got to St. Louis, Annabeth wanted to check out the arch, so they did. When they decided to leave, Annabeth and Grover got on the elevator. Got on the elevator. It was packed, so Percy said he'd wait for the next one. In line for the next elevator, too, was, also, was, this, was a big lady with a dog. Then, out of nowhere, the lady and dog turned into a turned into a monster and the dog turned into a huge dog monster thing with the scorpion tail that stung Percy. <clears throat> he had no choice but to jump into the river from the top of the arch and trust his dad to save him. When he was in the river he immediately immediately healed. Percy, Annabeth, and Grover were smart enough to bide their time with Hades but it turns out Hades didn't have the bolt. Hades was mad, so mad that he had his skeleton guards try to get them, but Percy used his pearls with Annabeth and Grover. The pearls are magic, and they shot a bubble around them, and they hovered over everything, and the bubble floated up to the sea. But one thing Percy didn't get back was his mom. We just got the news that Percy is fighting a god on the beach, Ares. Oh, this is going to be a good fight. But who knows? Ares can be a coward sometimes. And believe that I can't believe this is happening. Ares must have the bolt have put the bolt in the backpack Ares had given Percy. Ares was hurtling towards Percy, but Percy jumps out of the way. Then Percy smashed a huge wave in his face. He had seaweed when Ares had Ares had seaweed in his face, slice. Percy had wounded the god. Amazed, Ares left. Well, it looks like it's a happy ending for Percy and his friends. Thanks for watching. Bye.